Hey Steve, you home the way. Got another player exclusive interview today with the one and only Jeremy Charles. How are you, Jeremy? Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. Uh, thanks for taking time out from doing your work duties for Oxford. Obviously, um, just a few questions really about your time at QPR, if that's okay. Yeah. Okay, when growing up as a young boy, playing football with your mates on the streets and in the parks, what team did you support or did you just follow individual players? Uh, well, my home side, which was Swansea, Swansea City at the time, uh, obviously growing up there and whatever. Um, a lot of local lads playing there, so uh, I was lucky enough to come through and uh, play okay. for them at uh, the age of 16. Amazing that supporting the team and then playing for them as well, that must have been absolutely amazing for yourself. Yeah, it was uh, excellent. Uh, I, say, uh, I was lucky enough to play for them in fourth division and we went right through to the first, so uh, okay. very, very good Great memories then. Excellent memories there, yeah. Okay, um, just question now related to your QPR time, obviously. Um, what year did you join QPR? Uh, I joined them in 1984. Okay. I think it was the February 84. Okay, next question. Um, what team did you make your debut for QPR against? Do you remember? Uh, I can't remember. I think it might have been West Brom. Okay, no worries, no worries. Um, next question. Who did, you, who did you score your first QPR goal against? Uh, good question. Uh, I'm not quite sure on that. Uh, I've not scored too long. Long time. <laughs> it was, yeah. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I know you, you didn't play for us too long. Um, I, mean, I think you made, what was it, 12 appearances or. Yeah, it was uh, 11, I think, uh, five goals. Yeah, so five, yeah, so it's yeah. not bad yeah. considering really Matt. You know, well, the uh, ratio to the game kind of thing. Yeah, it was really good. Well, to say Terry Venables had a, a sort of system there that uh, you put in the side. Yeah. And uh, Clive Allen was there also. Yeah, yeah. So obviously. Uh, yeah, some good people, didn't Yes, I was training with Clive Allen. And, yeah. um, I was lucky enough to get in. Got injured and then yeah. Clive got back in. And came okay. Outside. Okay. Um, what was the most memorable moment or memorable game you have played in one playing for QPR? Um, well, again, it's only a short number of games, so uh, it was a, it, it was really good to play for them. As I say, uh, we had a very good side up there, and um, I say enjoyed all the games for them, the ones I did play. Okay, uh, just a couple more questions, that's all right. Who was your roommate on QPR away days? Uh, Steve Wicks. Okay. What was he like as a person to room with on the away games? Yeah, he was really good. He used yeah. to get up and make me a cup of tea and whatever, so I uh, can't complain about that. That's, that's great, that's great, that's great. Um, what was it like? Playing Loftus Road when it was a full house or not so full house? Um, well, again, we were, we were doing very well. We finished, I think, fifth or sixth that season, so uh, there were full houses most of the time there. Okay. And of course, we played on a plastic, which, uh, which got a lot of players yeah. minded, yeah. I think. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, it was a lo lovely little club and great yeah. atmosphere there. Okay, thank you. Um, just a couple more, if that's okay. Uh, do you keep in contact with any of your ex teammates from your playing days whilst at QPR? Obviously, before social media come on now, obviously, with social media, you know. It's just gone mad, obviously, you know, it's a bit easier maybe for players to keep in contact, but before that come, were you in contact with any of them? Or were you still um, keeping in contact? I keep, I usually see, uh, I've seen Peter Hucker around a few times, yeah. but um, apart from that, really, uh, I, I, I'm, not one, I'm not a big one yeah. for social media. So yeah, yeah. Okay, no worries. Um, what teammate had the worst dress sense at QPR whilst you were playing for QPR? If any. <laughs> well, I don't want to badly because we're all tra tracksuits, so, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> so everyone was scruffy, yeah. all of us were yeah. scruffy. <laughs> okay. Uh, and finally, uh, Jeremy, um, can you give us an overall summary to myself and to the fans, to QPR fans out there, of your time at QPR? Uh, yeah, it was a very, very good time. Uh, really excited to work with Terry Venables, who brought me to the club. Uh, I was watching Terry at the basketball at the end of that season, but uh, they had a great squad of players there, uh, extremely good set of players, and um, finished, I think it was fifth or sixth in the, the league that year to take us into Europe. So, uh, great club, loved playing there. Uh, unfortunately, um, it was only a short, limited time, and uh, but the time I spent there, really enjoyed it. Okay, yeah, thank you very much. That's kind words from yourself. Thank you very much for okay. taking time out. That's it for myself, DJ Ranger, with ex QPR player Jeremy Charles for QPR fans on Players TV, home and away. Where are you? Come on, you was.